for me, magic is uh, this pure emotion that I feel. And uh, to me, it's magic is the thing where when you experience it, you just let go of everything. More than anything, I think it's a gift. I, I think it's something that we should share, we should take pride in, and that we should work to get better at so that we can share better things and better experiences, better memories, give better memories. Magic is more than entertainment. Magic uh, is one of the most important things that humans can experience. I feel comfortable when like thinking about magic, doing magic. I feel like like I feel myself. When I'm performing, I like to believe that my audience is not worrying about their bills or their mortgage or whatever it is that they are stressed about. When they're there and they're in the theater or they're at the college or whatever it is that wherever they are, as long as they're having a good time, when I'm on stage, I'm having a good time. And for me, that's the most special moment. Magic is a way to um, connect with other people. I feel like when you're performing magic, when you're showing people magic, you are breaking down all the barriers. It touches us on a human level. It touches us on a spiritual and emotional level. Um, and it's one of those things that's almost intangible. It's this pure emotion inside that you can't explain and you just want more. Magic is literally everything that I have and everything I am. But magic is a lost art in the sense that today we've been diminished to tricksters. People who just perform these coin and card tricks for entertainment. People don't fully appreciate what magic is and like what, what magic can do. We don't understand really the power that magic has to offer for people in their daily lives, whether they're sick, whether they're healthy, going through issues, happy, whatever it is, you can give somebody something at, at any moment with magic. And that's something that I don't think you can do with any other art form at all. People as a whole have lost that sense of wonder. They, you know, we live in an age where magic happens in the palm of your hand, in the form of a cell phone. Uh, what we hope to do at Lost Art is one bit at a time give people that wonder back to bring it back to the Lost Art that it used to be. If you treat magic like a novelty, then you'll be received as a novelty. And I think that's one of the big problems in magic. We don't take magic serious enough. There are a certain demographic of people out there who are going on these sites like YouTube and Instagram and just revealing things that they have no idea about. It's not magic got lost, it's magician got lost. Like, these days, magician got just lazier and lazier. And um, because today's technologies, we can find the secret of a trick so easy, so everyone, I feel like magician just got lazier. They're revealing tricks that they see on TV or that they see on shows like America's Got Talent. And you know, they see views and they see dollar signs. Because nowadays people know that you can monetize eyeballs. I saw someone someone just go to a magic shop and pick up a few tricks. They never did magic before, but they just went there, pick up a few tricks, and they start booking shows. That's that's bad. But I feel like just magician is lost. So that's make the whole art get lost. I can't fully explain what it is, but when you do magic, when you get it right, it's so much more than just a trick or like a cool little thing. Like it leaves impact on people in a way that they will remember forever. I think it's a lost art because we've forgotten the true meaning of what it is to be a magician and what we can really give people. In the core of it, it's, um, it's seeking this connection between different people. 
just 20 years ago, we were in a situation where in order to connect with another human being, you had to go to a payphone, drop in a quarter, and wait for an operator to connect you to a person. Or you could do it in your home uh, a few years before that. Um, but now, today, anywhere in the world, all you have to do is hit a couple of buttons on a tab, uh, a stone that you can hold in your hand, uh, and it allows you to communicate with anyone in the world. Like all everything does is for you to connect with another human being and magic essentially does that. So it doesn't matter how many years from now, magic will always and still be relevant. I've seen people who are dying in hospitals and you just show them a few tricks or you give them a few moments and for, for that time that you're there, if, if that's all they, they take away from it, they're not dying anymore. To be honest, magic is everywhere. You know, you may not see it or you may not think about it that way, but it really is. And for me, the best place that I've witnessed it and that I've seen magic is in Broadway shows. I go to a lot of uh, Broadway shows, I go to a lot of theater, a lot of plays, a lot of musicals, and nearly every single one of them has some sort of magician consulting for them. But what people constantly forget is that what happens here is completely different than the emotions that you feel when you see a magic trick. There's a true power in the things that we as magicians can give people. And that's why I feel it's just as relevant as, as science or, or making someone laugh. Because you're giving them something, even if it's just a few moments, away from what they think of reality. And, and you bring them into your world. And I, I don't know too many other art forms where you can walk around with that kind of power and share it at any moment. We as magicians have to remember those moments, think back to the first time you got fooled, and try to replicate that for our audiences. That's how we keep magic relevant. That's how we keep magic alive.